Well, we've got about twice the uh, power with uh, both engines operating than it had with the piston engine craft. But the bigger difference that uh, both of the pilots, all three of the pilots have reported is that uh, the power doesn't roll off as the uh, speed picks up, it just keeps going. Rockets are constant thrust devices, so the specific excess power is uh, proportional to your speed. And uh, as you get up to the higher and higher speeds, you have to really watch the, uh, the velocity and make sure you're not coming up on VNE because it can get away from you. There's also no spool down in addition to being no spool up. So when you first turn the thrust off, it doesn't taper off, it stops. Uh, and you're, uh, you have immediate deceleration as drag takes over. We always fly a profile where we do a fairly steep climb and by design, this being our first rocket-powered airplane, we kept the thrust low enough that he couldn't accelerate or even sustain speed in a steep climb. Um, that provides the pilot a way of managing uh, their velocity. So we'll, all, all, when you see all the clips of the plane flying around, it'll go straight for a little while, and then there's always a climbing phase, and that's to keep your speed under control. This was our first rocket installation on an aircraft. Um, everything you see to the right of me here, to or to your right, my left here has to be uh, had to be individually packaged, selected, identified, designed. You know the brackets for it had to be had to be designed sometimes on a very very short schedule. Um, we had some trouble tracking down the tanks. Uh, the, this craft uh, has pressure-fed fuel, so we needed an external belly tank to hold the fuel. Um, now that we're getting away from that, that particular problem won't recur because we're going to pump-fed for the future vehicles so that we can go back to storing fuel in the wings the way that it is more conventionally done. Um, liquid oxygen tanks are uh, not especially difficult to procure, but they have to be designed and built and qualified. Uh, the helium tanks are um, uh, come from the vendor, and then the rest of the parts are all have to be made. It's, uh, we, we buy as much as we can, but there's not a lot of catalog items for rocket parts, so we wind up building most of the parts. We uh, pretty much operated on the basis of the, our first pilot, Dick, was the factory test pilot on the Long Easy. He had about 5,000 hours in Long Easies, so we were fairly confident to be able to, uh, to manage the transition. It's a lot of fun. We're, we're looking forward eagerly to next generation craft that have a little higher excess power.